Tonight we are hearing from a widow whose late husband survived the sinking of the USS Indianapolis. The Navy ship wreckage was found over the weekend, more than 70 years after the tragedy. Mary O'Donnell now lives in Beach Grove. Her late husband Jim was aboard the USS Indianapolis on that fateful day in 1945 when a Japanese submarine torpedoed the Navy destroyer. He survived the initial attack and was one of more than 310 sailors to survive several days floating in the Pacific Ocean, enduring a extreme temperatures and shark attacks. It is considered one of the worst naval disasters in U.S. history. Well, this past Saturday, the civilian team led by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen found the USS Indianapolis 18,000 feet below the surface in the North Pacific Ocean. Well, my son called me to tell me that he had heard it and uh, I was very, very excited about it. I mean, it's something we've waited for for a long, long time and I think all the fellows that are living and, you know, will be very happy and also I think it's kind of a closure for for all those who have died. Well, after World War II, Jim O'Donnell served as an Indianapolis firefighter for 36 years. He died in 2013, several days after he and Mary celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary. There is a monument at Indianapolis City Market paying tribute to his bravery at sea and as a fireman.